I, I met Wamoyo um, about two, three years ago. I met Lais in 2018. Uh, we were serving together in the same uh, band. She was singing, I was uh, playing the piano keyboard. But when I joined, uh, none of us was um, attracted to each other at the time. We were very serious um, on doing ministry. At that point, we were, not, we were just friends in ministry, serving together and all that. Uh, but um, 2019, at the end of the year, that is when we started talking. Um, and we, we started bonding over an incident that had happened uh, back in our church. So I remember this one occasion that uh, we were there for um, rally in the afternoon. And I remember that day, I was, I was really thirsty. We had sung the previous day on Saturday, then we were also ministering again on Sunday. So I had just come directly from church. After we had sung, I had, I presumed we would be given some water to drink and all that because it was also hot. But when we sat down, we were not given any water. And then after a while, uh, the host brought some water to, the, for the singers. So the members playing uh, instruments at Atukwe Sabiwa. So after staying, staying, so I actually said it when you are coming from stage, I, I asked, Kwani Leo had to pay Maji. I just said it just like that. I, I think a number of them had. So we sat down, then they were given water, wakaka. After a while, I don't know, for whatever reason, uh, Wamoyo decided to give me her water. She was seated somewhere towards the end. Akatoa majiake, akatoa iyo seal, alafu akanipatia. So Mimi, because I was asked, I just took the water and drank. Then after like 20 minutes, we can notice a kiomba friend yake, Maji. So it really struck me because it is not that she was not nasty, but then she, she Ali, Ali Kua, all of them had heard me say that maybe I had to Maji, but then she just decided uh, to give me water. I think uh, from that point, uh, it really struck me. That's how he started reaching out? I believe the beginning of 2020 um, is when now uh, I started having an, an interest in her, uh, more than a friend. And um, so from then on, um, we started uh, preparing for this day. And now we are very happy that we are here. Um, what blew me away about Lewis is um, he came at a time when um, I had matured. I, I, I would not have appreciated Lewis if, if he had come earlier, at an earlier time in my life. So he came at a point when I was serious about what I wanted. And um, what intrigued me about him was um, his faith and character. And when I was looking for someone to eventually settle with, character was, was a must. And so Lewi had that. And um, so even when he asked the first time, I didn't tell him, let me pray about it, let me consult. I just said yes, because I knew who he was and um, I knew what it, he stood for. And I knew where he would lead us. And so I was not afraid to, to get into a relationship with him or say yes to him and work with him this far. To Wamoyo, I love you very much. I love you very dearly. Yeah, you are very dear to me. Uh, we have been through ups and downs the far we have come. And I'm really glad that I chose you. To those who have supported us, those who have worked with us, our parents, our family members, uh, best couples, uh, uh, bridal team, uh, friends from work, friends from uh, our workplaces, our friends from church, Friends from all over, we are really, really grateful for all that you have supported us. We pray that because we might not be able to pay you back, that God will pay you back uh, greatly for each and every input that you have done in our lives. Thank you and God bless you. Um, my name is Sharon. I am a sister to Ruth. I'm Moyo, and now Mrs. Mihingo and I'm really happy for you. I'd say of all the things that I've learned from you as, as a girl, as your sister, how to live like a girl, how to live as a Christian, as a young Christian, mostly was you can actually serve God and be young, which is a very um, rare aspect in life. So yeah, I've learned that you can actually make your Christian like one and your prayer. <laughs> You can be prayerful without having 
for marriage as your main prayer item all the time, especially when you are ready for marriage. Because all the times I saw you going to formal praxis, you used to look all good, class at all, and then you'd say, Amy, I'm dressing up for my lord. <laughs> Who knew there was someone else? Um, which is really nice and you are a true perspective of Matthew 633 that says seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things shall fall you and all these other things I was um, reminiscing in the morning about the beginning about like previously how you are how High school was especially for how you were telling me about um, Lulu Shuka when you went to Kabarak. Um, low school, like how you even began your Christian journey. Times was when you were jobless but you're still serving God. And sometimes you find that times when you are beat and you're not able to catch it. But for you, times when you were beat, you were more shining and well fancy looking like you are glowing like you you glow differently when you pray right and i am i really got that part especially as a young girl especially as a young christian and someone for someone i remember the time when we were we argued and then i love for myself um Bebe ni kama akakwambia tu bebe ni kama baba yako. Then nikauliza mom, ni kwa ni dada alikwaje considering like I haven't the only memories I have of dad in the fire. Like kwa ni dada alikwaje. He was very firm, logic. Mkingia into an a debate with him and I and I drew up on the game that debate. So the fact that literally I've been told a lot of times that I look like my dad but for you the fact that you have his spirit and his person is really is really nice and it feels like a piece of that in you and it is amazing and i really love you and despite despite um, the many times you have argued and loved each other i know that and i'm really happy for you like but joyful and Hey, I know that would be very proud. The same way. Mom is really proud, by the way. Kanyango is also very proud. Proud. I have seen that the glory of God has been with you. And hey, continue serving God. And I will make sure to follow your footsteps. I won't leave any less than how you have taught me. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Dinah Wangare and I feel so grateful uh, for how the day turned out. I am so very happy. We've been waiting for this day forever and we are just so glad that um, Ruth and Lewis, you got to witness, um, you know, you got to witness your, your promise um, and you know, you've been looking forward to this day for so, for so long and we're so glad we had to be a part of it. So um, I'm so happy that uh, we got to witness also and we also know the journey that you've been going through the two of you and just the culmination of it today. Um, we're just so happy and we know that God deserves all the glory for it um, and we are just so happy for this new chapter in your life and we wish you the very, very, very best. We love you. My name is Amy Jerry, and I have a message for our lovely bride and groom, Lewis and Bamoyo. Uh, this is the Lord's doing and it's marvelous in our eyes. We have waited for this day for so long and it is indeed a blessing seeing you get, seeing you get married and getting married in a godly way. And I just want to wish you God's blessing, a blessed marriage, a marriage that glorifies God and honors Him in all that you do. So be blessed and, and enjoy your marriage. Hi. My name is Faith Emanjeri. Uh, Ruth knows me as uh, Faith. Uh, I'm happy to be here on the 1st of May 2021. It's a day we've all been waiting for and it's a day we are here to celebrate with both you Ruth and Lewis. I wish you the very best in your union. I pray that God may bless you and enlarge your territory. These are things we prayed for and they are happening right before our eyes. 
I thank God for you and for your family to be. And I'm here to see it all and celebrate with you. I love you, Ruth, and by extension, your husband to be, uh, Lewis. I hope you'll have a, an enjoyable day. Ciao. <laughs>